Hello my dear children, welcome to our EVS class. So children, today we will begin a new chapter in EVS, the chapter that we will learn is chapter 19, Abdul in the garden. So in this chapter, you will mainly learn about the different parts of the plant and in this video, you will be mainly discussing about the plant roots. That's what we will learn in this chapter. Okay, so let us begin the chapter. So children, you all will be learning about the different types of plants in the video. You will also learn about the different parts of plants, then the types of roots and the storage of food in plants. These are the things that we will discuss in the video. So let us see all these topics one by one. Okay, first let us discuss about the different parts of a plant. Okay, you have already learned it in your previous classes. So, parts of plants. Isn't it? You all know that there are mainly two parts. Isn't it? We can divide the plants into two parts. The first is the shoot system. And the second is the root system. Isn't it? So the shoot system mainly consists of the stem. Isn't it? Stem is the, sorry, stem. Stem is the main part of the shoot system and the stem will bear branches. And on the branches you can see leaves, isn't it? Then also you can see the flowers, then the buds that will become flowers, isn't it? Buds bloom to be, to become flowers, then the buds of branches, then the flower matures to form fruits. Inside the fruit you can also see seeds. So, the shoot system is actually the part of the plant that you see above the soil, isn't it? Parts seen above the soil and the root system is the part that is seen on the ground, isn't it? Below the ground or below the soil. Roots are having different functions. Shoots keeps the plant upright, isn't it? It is keeping the plant upright. It will be based on how the shoot is. We can differentiate plants as, uh, sorry, it is be based on how the stem is. We can differentiate plants as trees, shrubs, herbs, etc. Isn't it? Or creepers or climbers. Whereas the, and shoot we also call it as the backbone of the plant. Isn't it? Then the root has the function of anchoring the plant, isn't it? That is, it keeps the plant intact or in place. Then it also absorbs water and minerals from the soil and gives it to the other parts. It will take in water and minerals from the soil. That's how the roots are. Then children, in the shoot, you know the function of leaves. Isn't it? You know that leaves, leaves, what does, uh, leaves are called as the kitchen, isn't it? Kitchen of the plant. Oh, it is also known as the, what you call it, as the food factory also food factory of the plant, food factory of plants and you know that in the leaves, why is it called food factory? Because plants prepare food by a process called photosynthesis. Isn't it? In that what is happening? Plants use sunlight plus carbon dioxide, isn't it? Plus water and the green pigment called chlorophyll. 
in it to prepare the food that's how plants prepare the food and the process is called photosynthesis and what does the plant do with the food plants do what why do they need food plants need food for plants need food for growth isn't it and also to get energy for doing various functions plants need food for growth isn't it for growing and also to get energy to do other functions isn't it for performing other functions so that's about photosynthesis and next you will learn about the types of plants based on the stem you have learned that there are different types of plants like trees then shrubs herbs then the climber and creeper you know that trees have woody and large stem called as trunk shrubs have woody stem but it won't grow as tall as that of the tree whereas herbs have soft and tender stem whereas the climber the stem is very tender so it needs a support to grow as in grape vine or pea or the money plant these are climbers whereas the pumpkin it is a creeper isn't it why because it spreads on the ground and grow pumpkin or watermelon that's how they are stems then next you will learn about storage roots okay you will be learning about storage roots storage roots you know the food of the plants are stored okay food is stored food is stored in the form of starch storage roots are also tap roots okay so these storage roots for example the roots like this okay okay roots like this you know that there are two types of roots fibrous root and the tap root isn't it fibrous root is also the as you see in grasses and the tap root the tap root some of the tap roots are modified to store the food that plants prepare i told you know the food that plants had prepared some of it it will use for growth and the extra food what it does the plants store it in some of their parts so if the food is stored in the root especially storage root will always be tap root such roots we call it as storage roots so the food is stored in the form of starch so that afterwards the plants can use it later these storage roots we also eat as vegetable isn't it children like the storage root of carrot radish we eat these storage roots as vegetable these are also storage roots isn't it we eat it as, as vegetable then like radish then uh, beetroot isn't it that's also a storage root we eat that root as a vegetable because it is the food is stored in the storage roots isn't it then next one the roots of larger plants sometimes you must have seen children some of the plants in some of the trees when it grows old the roots get uprooted and it fall off isn't it that is when the trees get old whereas 
in some of the trees the roots stay intact see here you can see how the roots of this is a mango tree if you look over this you know that in the mango tree how the roots have spread okay so in large trees you don't have to water large trees okay you don't have to water large trees does not need watering you will not water large trees whereas the smaller trees we have to water it okay whereas the larger trees like the neem or mango tree which are very large doesn't need watering do not need to be watered regularly regularly why because if you doesn't need regular watering or you can say that large trees large trees doesn't need regular watering roots absorb water and minerals from the soil sorry children from the soil okay so large trees why because you can see how much the roots have spread the roots have spread to a very large distance isn't it so it can absorb all the water so if you have a garden you will see that in a garden if you have a mango tree or a neem tree or larger trees you don't water it every day why because the roots are that much spread so it can take that much water from the so whereas the smaller plants or the shrubs need to be watered regularly okay and you know the roots will absorb that much water and minerals from the soil absorb means it will take water and minerals from the soil okay so you saw an example sometimes you can also see trees growing on the walls like that of the banyan tree isn't it and after some time what will happen when the trees grow the roots will also become that much spread so what can happen the wall can fall off isn't it because of the root then next is the root hair in some of the root children you must have seen tiny hair like structures on top of the roots these are tiny hair like structures sorry children tiny hair like structure seen on the root surface okay they are fine hair like structures tiny or you can say fine hair like structures that you see on the surface of the roots we call it as root hair that is actually helping the plants to absorb that much more water and minerals okay it increases the area of absorption okay it increases the area of absorption of water then next is about the unusual root unusual roots okay that roots that you see in a banyan tree okay these are called the adventitious roots as they grow out from other parts of the plant especially like the stem 
when the roots grow out from the stem and not below the soil not from the base of the stem mainly from the branches or other parts of the stem that is called adventitious roots okay and in a banyan tree you must have seen two types of roots children one is the aerial root aerial root means the root that hangs from the branches okay two types of, of root are the aerial roots that is hanging from branches so in aerial roots these roots are called aerial roots okay what is actually seen over the it hangs from branches and it's swinging in the air and some of the roots grow large these aerial roots that come out from the branches grow large and reach the soil they are called prop root it is giving strong support it gives support to the branches for example children if you look over here the aerial roots you can see the roots that are hanging from the branches and it swings in the air that is called aerial roots whereas some of the roots that is coming from the branches grow and reach the length till it touches the ground and it's very large also so it's actually giving the support to the large branches of the banyan tree so you can see two types of roots aerial roots and prop roots in banyan tree other than that it also has the normal roots that grows deep into the soil it will also absorb water okay then next one is a desert oak okay this tree is seen in dry areas especially in area like desert the desert oak children the roots of the desert oak can grow up to a very long distance it can reach very deep into the soil for example imagine that this tree is having the length of a classroom or just a one floored sto one storied building okay but the roots of this trees imagine if you keep this tree in a line end to end how much long the uh, length will be or how long it will be that much long the roots of this desert oak will grow and it will absorb all the water and desert oak desert oak desert oak stores water in stem sorry not in the stem in the in the trunk of the tree inside the trunk that is the last stem of the tree and you know sometimes in the desert when people living over there doesn't get water they'll actually uh, insert or put a pipe inside the trunk and then they'll take the water out so that they can get water so the uh, roots of the desert oak is very long okay so children i hope that you have understood these portions so in this uh, video we mainly discussed about the different parts of the plant we discussed about the root system and the shoot system we learned that the root there are tap there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root some of the tap root are used as storage roots isn't it like the turnip or the carrot or the radish we eat it as vegetable then some roots are unusual roots isn't it that grows out just like that of the banyan tree it grows from other parts of the stem and it is for the support of the tree isn't it it gives like the prop root gives support to the banyan tree you also learned about a plant name desert oak which stores water in the trunk of the tree so children i hope that these portions are clear please read the text thoroughly and underline the points that are written on the board so thank you children